sure you're up for this? I'd feel a lot better if I had a gun. You won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. And we have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax? <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. <laughs> Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. This way. So what do we do if they switch the patrols? Figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble. I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah. I'm, uh, adaptable. Adaptable? You cocky bastard. <laughs> there. What did I tell you? That passage there is going to take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay, this one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. Right. Chloe. See you on the other side. Looking forward to it. You sure you know where you're going? Don't I always? So I just watched Uncharted, and this is probably in. The first the part the of, of Honor Among squidgy. Thieves, so this is probably the only chance I got. Like so days, this is the last yeah. chance I got here because Remember it's leaving again? today. That was the last showing here. And the Uncharted movie was fine. I mean, it's a video game movie. What do you expect? Like, sis? Oh, wait. Like, in the, an Indiana right? Jones movie? We must have made a wrong turn somewhere. <laughs> hey, now what do you bet that? Because, well, it's take based us right on a video into game. The room. And, from and there, I'm sure I haven't played we're in. most yeah. of them. In like Flynn, right? What? In like I'll Flynn. get around to it. I don't get it. I mean, I'm Just recording this for Uncharted 2, so. Yeah. But pretty much. Uh, this is this is Thanks. happening before the games, even though I know like Nate actually met like uh, Sullivan Almost like there. as he you was ready? like a sixteen-year-old, and this glory. Nate is probably not a sixteen-year-old. I'm I'm just going off on that, but we're good. Like, Nate, uh, it seems to be growing into that 30-year-old cool guy, cool Indiana Jones-like guy from the game. Like, he still can trust other people in, like, the game, the but he's more experienced than this Nate. I mean, this Nate literally got his gun holster part of his costume yeah. in, like, the final battle. So... Uh. And he yeah, doesn't even know how to use a gun. He doesn't even use a gun for most of the film. He just mainly tries to fight people. Or just, like, out agile them. All right. I don't know who. This is the I way think to the court Chloe right. might be. Wait. Well, we're not sure. going this way. Not if you want to keep your skin. All right. There's got to be a shutoff. Well, I was saying, I think she might be. See if you can find it. The then. girlfriend in, like, <clears throat> Uncharted 2. So hold on, let me make sure. Got it. Yep. That's who it is. 
and Chloe is pretty much the last video game character that you'll see in this besides Nate and Sully because one he met Elena during Drake's Fortune so can't really have her in it and two I mean this is a prequel to the game so what did you expect and honestly um okay now there should be a door it was just really this good corner. it was just really That's good our access point once we're through just stick like, to the plan you is it me? like one of the most best Tell movies ever made no this. like if you Clearly don't right. know the game you probably won't care about it but if you do know the game and you don't really give a crap about how the game's history works you might get something out of it it's locked there also might have been a post good job scene. I came prepared <laughs> I pick more than my you nose, know that my mustache friend. joke oh, wait. in There's the trailers oh, that's nuisance last time <sighs> great now what well I can disarm it if we can find the junction box it's got to be around like I know and I don't really know much about Sam But I do know he's in the fourth game. There. And I haven't gone anywhere near that, so right, it might be a while before I actually get have a connection to him. And the movie just kind of like kind of grace like glosses over it. Shit. And I mean, but like he gets a lot of things right. Like my mom throughout the movie is like it, it, the ring is somehow involved in it but I literally had to just tell her no that's Sir Francis Drake's ring it has nothing to do with the treasure hunt he's on right now it's just a motif of the character there's the tower well I yeah. didn't say that but, but we can only get to it from the roof and eh. we can't get to the roof from here we're gonna have to make our way to the next courtyard Through my mom doesn't there. really know much about the, this game and she probably well, do don't, doesn't even care to be honest she doesn't care she just wanted to see this movie, and I was just like, eh, sure, why not? I mean, I'm not doing anything. But we tried to see it last week, and my mom was constantly tired and didn't want to go. She works in taxes, and right now, pretty much tax season, so... We've got to get up to that balcony. She's not really the in the mood, there. and so this is Got like it. the last time we could have gone. And so pretty much I just told Dad and her, like, well, my plan is I come home first, then both of you come home, and then we just go see it. So, yeah. Honestly... I think the plane scene was pretty much just a ripoff of like like a scene from like another Uncharted game because I think I've seen it somewhere else before. And I know this movie has been like development hell trying to get made like who's playing like Mark, Mark Wahlberg who's playing Sully in the movie right now was originally going to play Drake. Which, sure, would have been cool, but eh, they fit the roles fine. Tom Holland plays a good young Drake that's just figuring out this new world. And Mark Wahlberg plays a, plays a good Sully. Sure, he's not as charismatic as... Sure, they're both not as charismatic as, like, the video game characters, but hey... Also, I don't know. It's also not written by the same people. And those people probably don't have an interest in actually playing the games. And we're just given has to include Drake's brother Sam, has to include his backstory, and has to include should be able to Nathan Sneak right and Sully. Whoa. Whoa. And close. Oh, so There's another alarm. And it has to be prequel. You wanna get this one? Pretty much. 
Because Nate, Wait like here. Nate, is pretty much saying Chi from Legend of the Ten Rings movie. Because I'm pretty sure he was like a wanted, like he was on the run, and did, then just ran into Sully in random bar when he was 16, and then the two were pretty much inseparable. Since then, but this looks more like a like a 20 year old Nate Nathan Drake, in a like a third like a 40 year okay. old it's Sully. Off. But me my my family left um, the theater, so I'm about to see the post credit scene. We also did this for like Ghostbusters Afterlife. Just left before the post credit scene, so I'm just gonna see it. Yeah. Hurry. Okay, okay. Hurry up. All right, we gotta cross this courtyard to get onto the roof. Okay, then I'll just let you do all the asking. All right. 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 Damn you, YouTube. But honestly, uh, the Norlin North cameo, the guy who actually played Nathan Drake, was actually pretty funny to see. <laughs> and, and him just saying, oh yeah, I think I did that once. <laughs> like, it was after the plane scene, so it's kind of like a weird moment. <laughs> but also pretty funny at the same time. But yeah, um... Well, I hope you enjoyed, and... That's pretty much my thoughts on it. Oh yeah, the villains. Um, the rich guy that wanted to reclaim his family's honor by getting the treasure, he was just meh to me. I mean, one, I went to the bathroom once and just kind of missed a couple scenes. And two, he, he just kind of seemed boring to me now what like it's um to tip the odds back in our favor All and uh, that uh, the main villain relax, that very much kills him and becomes the main guns. villain totally non uh she's your conscience will remain unscathed a, you know like those oh, evil uh, good idea. badass women right. in movies okay a bit of advice you can kick ass and range, so we basically also has a relationship with one of You're the okay characters past I know how to shoot a gun, genius. But it is pretty fun to see that. All right, let's take these guys out. <laughs> it does keep true to the Uncharted tradition, to me anyway, of uh, the villains dying in the water. And also, Sully was pretty good. But, well. More seems like the actors are playing a version of their of themselves more than the characters from the games, but that kind of makes sense because, well, they're younger versions. I mean, Sully's main arc throughout the movie was to learn to actually care more about people rather than money. That was pretty much his arc, and Nathan's arc was pretty much. become the character aesthetically yeah that's Raptors all I got get us onto the roof if we can get up there but anyway um I hope you enjoy the rest of whatever I'm putting this on and yeah. see ya oh yours Bye. You got it. Whew. Thanks, mate.
Come on. All right, all right. I'm coming. I think I'm going to take the elevator next time. There's the tower. Getting close, huh? Appreciate that update, Captain Obvious. Donuts for you. Yeah. Okay, I can get this. Yeah. Once again, you're up. I'm right behind you. As always. There's a guy above you, there's a guy above you. There's a guy below you, there's a guy below you. See your house. Let's get moving. There's a guard right below you. Can't get any closer with the tower lit up like that. What the hell's she doing? Come on, Chloe. <laughs> That's my girl. Ladies first. Ah, <laughs> cute. Here we go. Oh, there it is. Yeah, and there's the acoustic alarm. Until we get this case unlocked, that thing's gonna go off if we so much as touch this glass. No worries, mate. Voila. <laughs> All right. Now we're sure it's the right one. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Sorry, Marco. <laughs> Crap. 
that's the understatement of the year. This is it. It's bloody useless. The light of the great Khan. Wait a minute. What are you doing? It's resin. It'll burn. And? Just give me your lighter. What? Is that really a good idea in here? And... Let me see that. Our ships were driven by a great flood tide into the wilds of Java. Sounds like they were hit by a tsunami. Yeah, somewhere off the west coast of Borneo. Oh, great. That narrows it down a bit. Uh, look, this mountain must have been the closest landmark where they went aground. We find that mountain. We find the ships. Yeah, good work, mate. Uh, wait, wait, there's more. Okay, Joe. As if the ocean itself sought to throw off the terrible cargo we carried from Shem... Bala. The curse of the Chintamani. Would that mean something to you? Shambhala? Oh my god, Flynn. What? Marco Polo found Shambhala. Shangri-La. You're joking. If they were carrying the Chintamani stone, it might still be there. It's all very fascinating, but we really gotta go. Yeah, I'm right behind you. What the hell are you doing? Sorry, mate. This is where we part ways. Wait, Flynn, we had a plan. No, you had a plan. Turns out I've got one of my own. Uh, come on, throw me the rope. Don't be stupid. Oh, yeah, right. You're the mastermind. Only you overlooked one little detail. Didn't you, partner? So what are you gonna do, shoot me now? No, I just need you out of the way for a little while. <laughs> You think I didn't know about the ships from the beginning? Any schoolboy could have figured that out. Flynn, listen. Face it, genius. You've been played. Ah, <laughs> uh -uh, not yet. I want to give the guards a decent head start. Right, that's my cue. No hard feelings, yeah? Okay, now I'm screwed. Alright, alright. Thank you, Nate. Thank you. Yeah, there it is. Suckers. <laughs> you overlooked one little detail, didn't you, partner? What? Face it, genius, you've been played. Oh, really? Hey, 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 jackass, you're ruining the show here. Ah, oh, what a shame. Sully! I really can't leave you alone for a minute. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. How are you doing, kid? Uh, I'm doing just great. So, I had to grease a few palms. Did go through the rest of your money. And a good chunk of my own, but hey. Ah. Jesus, you stink. Yeah, not half as bad as that cigar. Yeah. Hey, how'd you find me? Well, uh, friend of yours asked for my help. Hello, Nate. Oh, no. No. Now, wait a second. Sully, kick her out and shut the door. We're safer in here. Just wait a goddamn minute. Hear her out. Thank you, Victor. Hey, no offense, Sully, but you're not exactly the best judge of character, especially when it comes to women. Fair enough. All the same. Dear God. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Look, I have my own bucket. Mm. 
Last cell I was in, eight of us had to share. Listen, Nate. You know something? I really appreciate you dropping by. But if you and Flynn hadn't screwed me over in the first now, place, I wouldn't minute. have been rotting in this shithole Listen, for the last three Nate. months. So excuse me if I'm not just, you know, leaping into your arms. I had nothing to do with it. Right. I told you. He's not going to listen to me. Screw this. Nate, they found the ships. In Borneo. Yes. And the Chintamani stone? How do you know about that? Do you really think Flynn could have figured that out on his own? All right, good point. No, they haven't found it yet. What do you mean, they? Flynn and his client, Lazarevich. You know, the nutcase. They've been working together all along. All right, then. If they haven't found the stone, that means there's still time. You're going to get us into that dig site. We are going to snatch that treasure right out from under them. They'll never see it coming. Man, we'll pay back some bitch. Look, they called it the wish-fulfilling jewel. It's a sacred object. What, like a Buddhist holy grail? Exactly. Thanks. Sully, listen to this. In the kingdom of Shambhala lies the most precious thing to be found in all the world. A perfect raw sapphire of the deepest blue, larger around than the reach of a man's arms. Ooh, that's gotta be worth millions. Hundreds of millions. And you say there's more of this? Loads more. Lazarevich paid top dollar for Marco Polo's journals. He's been after the Chintamani stone for years. <laughs> well, if he's been counting on Flynn to find it for him, it's no wonder he hasn't had any luck. <laughs> if I can get a look at Lazarevich's files, I can find that stone. Uh, hang on a minute, cowboy. That's easier said than done. The files are in his tent, and his tent is in the middle of the camp. It's like an armed compound. There are soldiers everywhere. Well, that's why it has to be a inside job from someone they know and trust oh okay i see where this is going I just need a diversion you give me five minutes in that tent that's all it'll take really five minutes well that's great i won't even have to get my top off chloe i was thinking more like an explosion or that can be arranged are you in oh hell yes i was in before you were Chloe, you're reading us? Loud and clear. We're getting close. <clears throat> okay, I've planted charges all around the perimeter of...